want to talk about chemical steel and waste cleanup. When steel are involved, safety is very important. That is why I am going to discuss ways that we can manage this field in the laboratory. However, there are two types of steel, manageable and unmanageable steel. The manageable ones are those ones that do not spread rapidly. And they are the ones that will not pose serious danger to the personnel, lab personnel, or the environment. And there are also fields that can be managed by the lab personnel without assistance from the emergency department. Now, when you, before you anticipate or before you start any work in the laboratory, it is really important that you take certain precautions or pre uh, certain, have some, some of these things in mind. There are certain rules that we need to follow. First of all, make sure you have the right attire. Make sure you have lab coat that is long sleeve. You have your gloves, safety goggles, and closed toe shoes in case of any chemical release. Now, the next thing that you do is for you to locate chemical steel kit. This chemical steel kit is the one that is available for acid steel. Another thing you need to do when you locate your chemical steel kit, you make sure all the things that you need, your protective personal equipment are all in there. You also have all the equipment that you need in case of any spill. So when you have all these in mind, then you also check if everything is in good condition. Because a poorly managed equipment can cause accidental spill and even explosion. When you have done that, you also have to find out information about the chemical that you are going to use to know the potential hazard or the risk factors that are involved. What you need to do is to consult the MSD S sheet. That is the material safety data sheet that is always available for any lab personnel to to look at. Because it's really important. This particular material safety data sheet provides all the information that we need in terms of hazardous properties with all these chemicals that we always encounter in the lab. When that is done, you now have to have the right mind, right frame of mind. One thing you don't need to do is take medication that can interfere with your thought process. Because such medication will slow down your ability to respond quickly to any chemical spill. You also have to make sure that everything, the area that you work in or work on, is free from all clusters. Now, since there are some of these fields, since some of these fields could be volatile, some of them could also be very corrosive. Some of them could be very combustible. For example, if you are working with uh, sodium fine divided polish like nitrate, what you need to do is make sure you don't have any combustible material like paper around that area. And also avoid breathing that vapor that comes out from maybe some of these uh, liquid fields that might get into the air. There's something else that you need to know. If the field is on your skin, please always rush to the emergency shower. If it is on your eyes, get there. There's an eye wash station there too. It is really important that you open this water and allow it flush that area of the skin or the eye for at least 15 minutes. 15 minutes might sound too long, but it is worth it to avoid further burn into your skin. How about if they feel involved 
is an active. If it is an active, for example, if this were an active that fails, so what should you do? Try and confine and contain that area and let the people that are around and try to create a dam around that perimeter. Then what you need to do is get your absorbent and pour around that area. Then your neutralizer. The neutralizer will neutralize the acid. Then get this close, put this close on. This will protect your skin from the corrosive nature of an acid. Then get your hand held broom. Sweep. everything into the hazardous bag and treat it as a hazardous waste. Make sure to get everything from the floor. <laughs> Remember to decontaminate the broom with 10% bleach at the end of everything. Then the next step will be soap. Pure soap. Little soap. And a little water. Then try to absorb and clean up the every. Then you can now take all the glue. <coughs> then you are ready to walk again. Remember, any kind of pill, whether it is a large one or small one, always notify the lab supervisor. If it is a serious one, please call the emergency phone. Work safely when you are in the lab. And also remember, every chemical in the laboratory is presumed hazardous. Yeah, thank you for watching. Or something. Yes, thank you.